He struggles to make it onto the front porch. Then he collapses, overwhelmed by the 110 degree temperature in Arizona. He has to lie down for a moment to recover. Slowly, he gets back up again and reaches for the doorbell before stumbling back to his truck. It's just a sickening feeling that you don't know what's going to happen to that guy if he goes to the next house or to his truck. Homeowner Brian Enriquez, his truck. It's just a sickening feeling that you don't know what's going to happen to that guy if he goes to the next house or to his truck. Homeowner Brian Enriquez says he was shaken when he saw what his ring camera had captured. You can see in the video, he's looking at his hands, shaking his hands. I mean, he could have a mini stroke or anything. You may be surprised to hear that UPS trucks have no air conditioning. It feels so freaking hot back here. Drivers are taking to social media to share their extreme working conditions. This guy is drenched in sweat. To get air through the truck, the best way is we always leave the doors open. We rented a UPS truck to experience what drivers endure. UPS drivers call these trucks the box, and there's a reason. They literally bake in the sun. This one's been parked for a while. Outside, we're registering 95 degrees, but inside, we're approaching 120. UPS says the driver on that Arizona video is fine today, adding, our package delivery vehicles make frequent stops, making air conditioning ineffective. Across the nation, the heat is on. We're talking about all-time records, like we have never in recorded history in centuries seen this type of heat. Check out the forecast in Houston. We've got triple digits in the forecast. For the Look at all those hundreds. It's going to feel like you're standing inside of a hairdryer. The extreme weather sparked severe thunderstorms and flooding in New York, where a massive sinkhole swallowed a van. It's going. In the United Kingdom, they're seeing temperatures of 100 degrees plus for the first time ever. They've literally never experienced this before in recorded history, going back 363 years. And only 5% of the homes there are air conditioned versus 90% of the homes here in the States. Look at Europe right now. I mean, they're on fire. London's forecast is 99. It goes from Paris all the way down into Spain. We spoke to AccuWeather meteorologist Christina Shalhoub. Just to put it in perspective for you, London at this time of year, the average high temperature is 71 degrees. So you're seeing a departure of about 33 degrees in just one day. In France, it's being called the heat apocalypse. One farmer in Spain was forced to flee, his clothes on fire. Terrifying signs of the times and perhaps our future.